Hi, this is Ashley with IT Quality Consulting. Today we're going to walk through activating multiple currencies in Salesforce Sales Cloud and how that ties into CPQ. The first thing we need to do is to check on the box for activate multiple currencies in your company information. This is going to show you a warning saying that it cannot be undone. And for that reason, it's best to do this in a sandbox environment first before you enable it in production. After you enable this checkbox, you'll see a variety of different settings that show up. So for example, you'll now be able to create users that have default currencies in multiple currencies. So this user has been set up with Australian dollars and my user that I'm currently logged in as is set up with US dollars. You'll also notice on the renewal or on your opportunities and your accounts that you have this new field for currency. So that's going to populate um, by default with whatever your organization's primary default currency. So this organization, the default currency is US dollars. So this was an opportunity that existed before I enabled multiple currencies and it is defaulting to US dollars. I have also made a test account here that has Australian dollars. So even though my user is set to US dollars, I can look at this account that has Australian dollars. And if I go to one of the opportunities that are associated with that Australian dollars account, um, we can see that the currency here is also set to Australian dollars. This is all sales cloud. Now I'm going to move over to CPQ. Um, over here on our quote, we can see that this CPQ quote also has a currency of Australian dollars. And if I were to edit lines in order to add products, I'm only going to be able to add products that have an Australian dollar price book entry. Now that was a mouthful, so we're actually going to take a moment to look through the products and see, you know, what can I do to make these products show up? I started us off by doing one product and enabling Australian dollars for the one product. So let's go ahead and add products and see what we have. This is the one product that I enabled and you can see over here, it's a little bit cut off, Australian dollars is right there. Um, so if I check on the box to include this product and I hit select, you'll see that all of the other um, items are, are not showing up. We do have storage that has Australian dollars but these other items aren't showing up under processor or memory. So let's go and fix that together so that you can see what this looks like. Under our 15 inch laptop product, we have in the related list price book entries for US dollars and Australian dollars. If we scroll up a little bit, we can see the different options that we have here. So let's go ahead and view the different options. In here, we're going to choose a couple of different items. So let's, let's go to our RAM. We'll update this one and our hard drive and the CPU project or product. So starting over here, I'm going to go to the related list for this product and add a standard price. We only have one price book, which is the standard price book. But if we had more than one price book, we could add additional prices per price book. But we're keeping it simple and we're just going to use the standard price book. And we'll give this a list price of, say, $35 in Australian dollars. We'll save that. And so now we have multiple uh, different currency options here. We're going to do the same thing a couple more times so that we have the other products that are updated. So I'll add a standard price here and then this one will say is $99 and default that to Australian dollars. We'll do this one last time. So I'll go back to the related list and I will add in the price for Australian dollars. And this time we're going to say this is going to be $89. We'll save that. All right, so now that these products have been updated to have an Australian dollar price book entry 
for the standard price book, which is the price book we're using, I can go back to my quote and let me just cancel out of here. And then now we can see that we have those other products that we just added Australian currency for, and we can see that the list prices are showing up over here. So now I'm going to click on this 15 inch laptop and select it. And when I do, I have these other options that are available to me. So I can save this and we're going to make sure that this all looks good. So we have our, um, our laptop uh, package that's showing up here, our laptop bundle, if you will. We're going to save that. And let's go ahead and make this primary so that all of those products are going to sync over to the opportunity and you can see what this Australian dollar currency looks like. I'll go ahead and calculate that because we just made some changes to those products. CPQ wants to make sure that we have the latest and greatest pricing information and that everything is sync syncing properly. All right, let's go over to our opportunity and we can see the dollar amounts in Australian dollars as well as the converted information here. So this conversion is showing up due to what's been set up in settings, um, which I will show you in just a minute. So we have this US dollars, we have the Australian dollars, and then we have the US dollar converted equivalent showing up here because the organization currency, um, the currency of the company headquarters is US dollars. So we're seeing that converted also because my user is US dollars and it helps me as a US dollars employee to know what is that, um, that value. When we run reports on um, opportunities and we're looking at the different dollar amounts, you have a couple of different options. So in here, let me clear out some of these filters because this is an older report. So we'll just say this is for all time. And now I can see my account for the Australian test. We have the currency that's defaulting. We have the amount for that opportunity. And we also have this converted amount showing up. So if you're ever stuck here and you're seeing amounts that are in a whole bunch of different currencies, just know that you can add the converted amount field to your reports. And that's going to allow you to see that converted um, dollar so that they're all in the same currency. Lastly, let's just take a look at settings one more time. If we go back here to settings, after enabling currency um, over here to have uh, in your uh, company information, you're going to see manage currencies as an option. Before you enable multiple currencies, you will not see this as an option. So you will need to refresh your screen after you check that box. And then here we can insert new currencies and so we can specify whatever currency that we would like and, and then we can key in what the conversion ratio might be. Um, so that is the end of this tutorial. I, I hope that this helps you and we can expand on it in the future. Feel free to subscribe and leave us some comments if there's some other functionality you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much.